Did you know that you can turn an old CRT TV into a crude oscilloscope? It's true. With just a few simple adjustments, you can repurpose an old TV set and use it to display waveforms. All you need is basic soldering skills, some tools, and a little bit of patience. Start by removing the back cover of your CRT television. After removing the cover of the center TV, we can see the interesting board and electronic components. Now we connect the TV to a power source and set the voltage to be 12 volts. Turn it on, we will see that it starts consuming about 7 watts of current. When trimming the variable capacitor, we notice a change in the center screen. But there are no TV stations near me, the circuit in which the center TV screen works. Consists of a high frequency transformer, a vacuum tube to generate electrons, and also a deflection coil to control the path of the electronics horizontally and vertically. First we remove all wires from the deflection coil, to set which coil controls horizontally, and which controls electrons vertically. After removing the wires from the deflection file, and turning on the TV, we notice that a white dot appears in the middle of the center screen. This is the result of the direct flow of electrons and their concentration at the center point. Now we measure the resistance of both deflection coils. A coil whose resistance is about 6 ohms is a vertical coil. As for the coil whose resistance is about 1 ohm, it is a horizontal coil. This video is sponsored by Altium Designer. The link is below the video, in the description box. A vertical coil the frequency is about 90 Hz. And a horizontal coil it has a frequency of about 14 kHz. We are now injecting a signal from the frequency generator into the vertical of the deflection coil. Now we set the frequency of the frequency generator around 14 kHz. We immediately notice the appearance of a change in the point that appears in the middle and changes according to the frequency or the voltage that we inject into the coil. Now we inject the horizontal coil with frequency to see what happens. We will adjust the frequency to about 90 Hz until the signal is clear. It is amazing that the signal appears in a distinctive way. As we increase the frequency, the signal becomes faster. And the point appears faster. By injecting the coils with frequency, we can through this understand the idea of how the center TV works. And how the deflection coils works. Now we connect the wires of the horizontal coil, and inject the signal from the frequency generator into the vertical coil. We notice that a horizontal line appears. And when we inject the signal, this line starts moving randomly. After defining the coils, we can now connect the vertical coil wires and leave the horizontal coil wires as signal input and use it as an oscilloscope input. We inject the signal, and you can later add a signal amplifier to this entry. If you are interested, tell me in the comments. The line appears vertically. 
and when the signal is injected, it begins to appear very clearly. But we have a simple problem here that we can solve easily. As the signal appears vertically, and we are used to the appearance of the signal horizontally, so we will need some modifications to the deflection coils. Altium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Altium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Altium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. You can get Altium Designer for free through the link below the video in the description box. Register immediately to start designing your projects. Altium 365 Design, the fastest design review ever, allows you to share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. Also you can trust Octopart Electronic Component Insights experience to recommend the best components to fit your criteria so you can focus more on problem solving and thinking creatively. To solve this problem, we move the deflection coils at angles that are 180 degrees. Now you can see the line appear horizontally by moving the deflection coils in a certain direction in a circular way. We can move the line at the angle we want. If you like this type of video, suggest your questions in the comments. And don't forget to like and share the video with your friends.